That's for you. See, look, that's really unfair because you've uh, ordered something really healthy for yourself and a pizza and a really large one at that the, the, for me. The pizza is special here, trust so, me. I like pizza. You, sh you should try it. And uh, I want to fatten you up a little bit. Please. So. <laughs> well, I need to keep my TV job. I can't get too fat. <laughs> we can do probably another program on how to get slim after that. Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about, um, you were saying something very yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, you mentioned about... Uh, uh, how I would look at a particular villain's, another another person playing a villain role, would it be a competition or how do I go, uh, my views about that, mm -hmm. is I would like to say this, see Mr. Bharat, this was a Tamil film, uh, it was originally played by Rajinikanth, Mr. Rajinikanth and Mr. Satyaraj. Mm -hmm. The same thing when they re made it, I mean the same storyline, Mr. Danush played and Mr. Prakash Raj played Satyaraj's role. And he brought in something of his own way, though, you know, it is a similar role or the same one. So it is, again, how each actor portrays the same kind of character and could do. But whereas for a, for a good guy, like a hero, he has to do the same good things. Mm. Maybe he can bring in his style, but still it's the same good thing. But what kind of an actor are you? Are you an, a, a director's actor? Um, uh, or, um, or the directors that you've worked with, they, have they been very rigid that you should interpret a role exactly how they tell you to? See, uh, honestly, when I stepped into it, I was totally raw. I didn't really, yes, I did know the terms about saying method acting and all that, but when it came to it, I was more of a director's actor, and I like to stay that way. But then when I did a little bit, after I came in, you know, when I did a little bit of uh, study and you know, started looking at things at the acting side, more of theory and practical side, I figured out that I'm more a method actor mm -hmm. than any, anything else. So everything has to be there for me. Like, you know, I'm, I'm a method actor, which goes with totally with the director. For me, that is, he is the man. Mm -hmm. My man mm -hmm. is him when it comes to any project. But you got into acting pretty um, late considering the fact that you come from a film background. Your mm -hmm. father, mm -hmm. my, my grandparents and my parents grew up on a staple diet of your father's films. Oh, is it? Is it? I'm very happy to know that. Uh, okay. They were very thrilled when I said I was going to have lunch with you today. And I remember three movies of your dad. Mm -hmm. I was very young. Um, Anbeva. I remember, where well, he wasn't really a bad guy in that film. No, not in that. Then I remember uh, Ade Kangal. Yeah, mm? yeah, yeah. And then uh, We Earned the Money then, where he played a very exactly. noble, he was yeah, a very noble yeah. character. In See, that that's uh, very interesting uh, that you picked all these three films because I like all three of them mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Because especially, mm -hmm. you know, this um, We Earned the Money then and Anbeva, both. He's a friend character, he's a friend, friend. to the hero, mm -hmm. you know. But the way he portrays it, both will have that he, he would love the girl whom the hero, uh, you know, uh, falls in, in love, love with. It's in love with, so. And he loses them in both the sacrifices cases. Sacrifices them in he fact, sacrifices for the sake them. of exactly, friendship. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, and the way he treats that role is treated for both is very different. So that's what I was saying. So every character you can approach it, I mean, according to the story, you can approach it. And especially Ade Kangal, it's a thriller and it's yeah, a yeah. classic. It's I would say it's a film. classic, yeah. Mm -hmm. So where you, the script is such that you would uh, suspect every, each and every one yes. of the character in the film. And the so, person yeah. you least expect turns out to be the. They don't make films like that anymore, really. It's, but it's a golden age. Mm, I would say yes and say no because right now um, we are forced to do a certain kind of films. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is the other side to it. I've, you know, when I was talking, discussing this with another person, they said, then uh, why don't you make films which you think are new ideas or like those ones, typically like the good, uh, good old days as you talk about. So he was saying the responsibility is with you guys. That but market what? forces control everything today. Yeah. 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 No, but uh, before we get into that, that's a 
quite a uh, you know it's a topic that we can talk uh, hours about i'd like mm -hmm. to talk about your dad mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what kind of influence was he on you and why um, why didn't you get into movies earlier you were a chemical engineer right no mechanical, mechanical. Mm -hmm. now see when uh, see he was a graduate himself a ba from st joseph's trichy mm -hmm. so when uh, he, i was too young when he died so i was still in school and uh, when i showed a lot of interest towards acting mm -hmm. even at that stage he kept on telling me like you know he didn't directly say no but he would say finish your you know studies. i want you to finish your studies you know and then uh, you can do what you want you know that way that is an invaluable lesson it is because yeah, i also yeah. believe that no matter what you want to do later in your life you need mm -hmm. your basic education mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which i think is a message we must send out to young people yeah absolutely mm -hmm. now what happened was unfortunately he died before uh, uh, any of this could happen so i was still in school so my only thought was i need to do this uh, get a degree in mechanical engineering because he was very specific about mechanical engineering i really don't know why okay engineer lawyer or doctor that was the Yeah, the, the path that one followed, na, no? in those days. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So he was stuck on this idea, and I just went ahead and did it. And and uh, that throughout, I was my passion was only in the films, acting especially, not in any other department at that point of time. And then, um, but in, strangely, I never even tried the usually. Uh, as a student you would go do the plays in college mm -hmm. i never did any of that and i was such a thing like i would come back uh, back home i studied in coimbatore at psg tech <coughs> so what i did was okay see you bye bye bye, -bye. Mm -hmm. now what happened was okay. when i came back here i continued with uh, uh, you know i i even worked for 2 years with kcp as a design engineer but that didn't really interest me one fine day i just thought what am i doing you know so i just stopped going i think um, <laughs> that's what one calls an epiphany it just it just happens overnight yeah. yeah so you'll share more stories with us no soon after we i haven't let you eat at all no 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 i'm i'm enjoying my food how how was the pizza yeah, very nice really very nice. Then so, you should have some more. Yeah, while I, you know, I'm trying to eat very elegantly because we're being watched. This is not the way one eats <laughs> no, pizza. That's not going to stop her. I think this is this is the second pizza, you know. By the way, that's not true. Go away, take a break, and let me eat my pizza, and we'll come back to you. I'm out for lunch with Mr. Vincent Ashokan.